Ragon plot. So, during the first part of this course, we have focused our attention on the most important uh, theoretical topics concerning electrochemistry. And so now that we are able to phase up uh, with, uh, for instance, uh, the interpretation of a poor B diagrams, or understand uh, basically uh, the meaning of the butter volmer equation, and in general, all the thermodynamics and cinetics, most important concepts connected to the electrochemistry world, we can now shift from what is only theoretical um, and now we can start speaking about application. So we will see in the second part, for instance, uh, the working principle of different types of electronic devices, starting from capacitor, really briefly, and then focusing the measure time, the attention on the use of battery and different types of battery, working principle, reactions involved, and the really interesting uh, uh, concepts, for instance, in lithium ion battery in redox uh, in vanadium uh, redox flow battery, in methyl A battery as zinc air, lead acids, and so on. So we will see a lot of different types of galvanic cell devices and also some electrolytic process and even maybe some electroraffinery as in the case of chopper ones. So now before we start with the application, it's important to speak about the Rigon plot. But what is a Rigon plot? It's really simple. So a Rigon plot is a plot that allows us to compare different types of performance of different electrical devices. It's a plot that allows us to understand and compare the performance of even very high different electrical devices. So capacitor, different types of batteries, and in which way? Well, the Bregon plot is a plot in which we have here, on the y-axis, the specific energy. And on here we have the specific power. What does it mean? So the specific energy, specific energy, is basically uh, represent the total amount of energy that is stored inside a battery. Is the total energy stored inside the battery? Fact is basically is measured as watt per hour over kilos. So over unit of weight since this is a specific energy. So we can have energy, for instance, the energy density is versus the unit of volume. The specific energy is the energy stored inside the device per unit of weight, in this case, kilos. Why I'm saying that uh, watt per hour represents the total amount of energy stored? Well, we know very well that watt is literally volt for is a voltage for a current, the power, is the unit of a power in the watt. And we know that basically this means uh, volt for ampere, but ampere are column over second, okay, and per second. But we know also that the volt is equal to joule over column. And so this is simplified, this is simplified, we need to place here the weight, this is a unit of mass. And so we have basically that but our 4 kilo is equal to joule 4 kilo. It's the same thing. So we are basically in this way describing with the specific energy that is equal for the reason to the voltage for the current for the time over the mass. We are basically describing the total amount of energy stored inside our device. So for instance, a battery, a capacitor and so on. So write it better. Specific energy is equal voltage for the current for the time for on the mass and is equal to in terms of unit of measure watt hour per second no watt hour sorry over kilos that is literally equal to joule over kilograms. So total energy. Store in 
the device. And here we have the specific power. The specific power, from the other hand, that is not able to tell us information regarding the total amount of energy. But from the other hand, the specific power tells us information about how quickly this energy can be delivered. So if the specific energy gives us the amount about the total energy that we have inside the device, the specific power gives us how much faster this energy can be used. Fact the specific power that is the capability to drive and use energy quickly. So high of the specific power, how are the ability to deliver our energy quickly is equal to the voltage for the current over the mass, but not the time. Fact the unit of measure is watt over kilos, but watt over kilos is equal to joule over second per kilo. So what does it mean? that here we are looking for an energy on a time in the unit of measure. So this is how much energy we are able to provide in the unit of time, whereas in the specific energy, no, the specific energy is only the total energy for unit of weight, and this is the total power for unit of weight, so the energy provided in the unit of time. And so this means that basically since this represents total energy, having this unit of measure, Watt hour for kilos or joule for kilos on kilos, and this is equal to only watt over kilos, it is also equal to joule per second per kilos. We can say that each single point of this regal plot gives us an information, and information is about what. So, if for instance we have one electrical device that it could be um, a battery maybe so a battery if the battery a certain battery is characterized with this point this battery bow it, it could be uh, uh, everything types of battery so it doesn't mean what type of battery is now but let's say we have a generic battery here and if this battery could be described with a point here on this regular plot, this means that we are able, we have this total energy, and we can provide this total energy with this specific power. And so on the ratio between the specific energy and the specific power, so the ratio between specific energy at this point on the specific power this is sorry for what I did Spe specific for specific power at this point the ratio between these two measures give us a measure of time. It's quite close, it's, it's, it's obvious, so we have something that is watt hour over kilo over something that is watt hour, that is watt over kilo without hour. So simplifying what is remaining is the unit of a time. And literally, if we are subdividing the specific energy on the specific power, we can appreciate a time. And what is the time? This time is the time required in order to provide this total amount of energy at this power. And so we can appreciate with a single point in the Ragon plot what is the behavior of a battery. That with a certain type of specific energy is able with a certain time to provide this total energy if we know the power. And it's interesting to remember that the Ragon plot is a logarithmic plot. Why is it important to say that? 
Because in this way, since the unit of measure here are in a logarithmic form, we are able even to compare really different type of electrical devices in terms of performance, really different. And in general, one classical example is, for instance, uh, that is associated with the Rayon plot, is the difference between the battery and the capacitor. We know that a capacitor is basically as a plate capacitor and device, an electrical device that can store, we will see this, uh, uh, we, we can store energy due to an electrostatic process, electrostatically. So it's able to charge one plate negatively and the other one positively, but without involving a real bulk. So basically, uh, we need to apply a voltage and the capacitor can be charged and create an electric field and store energy in this way. A capacitor can store energy due to the creations of an electric field. And, but a capacitor is able to provide this stored energy with a huge power. So the capability to deliver this energy is extremely huge in a capacitor. But at the same time, the specific energy is very low. What does it mean that in a Raymond plot, capacitors are often placed in this zone? So here we can have different types of capacitor. But in general, a capacitor are characterized with very high specific power and very low specific energy. From the other hand, battery, so lithium ion battery or other types of battery. Uh, our fuel cell and so on are characterized with a huge specific energy. But from the other hand, the capability to deliver this energy in a fast way is reduced with respect to the capacitor. So if it's true that capacitors are characterized with high specific energy and low specific power, we have the opposite case in battery. We have a huge amount of energy stored, also because this, the energy here is not stored due to an electrostatic process, but it's stored due to a chemical reaction, it's a Faradically process. And so it's even intrinsically introduced in the bulk due to the presence of reagent, we have a huge amount of energy in battery. But at the same time, the ability to provide this energy is smaller in terms of how much fast we can use it. And so batteries are characterized with an high specific energy, but a quite lower specific power. And so maybe we can have battery in this zone. Obviously, we can add even intermediate situation. We will see, for instance, uh, the meaning of supercapacitor and how the supercapacitors are something that is in a bridge. Often, maybe we can have or electric double layer supercapacitor or even more close to a real bridge, a pseudo capacitor in which one electrode is behaving as the one of a battery and the other one is behaving as a classical type of a plate of a capacitor. So, basically, this is what is important from the Ragon plot, and we can see us to the next lesson speaking about capacitor.